So let's share this to the screen. So this is from Twitter, guys. All right. Because I'm going to clip this up and make it its own video. Okay. Stick around with me. Hey, guys. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to talk about, right, why you shouldn't go and share your actual dreams and, and your actual side income with anybody you work with. Okay. This is like rule number one of indie hackers, rule number one of entrepreneurs, rule number one of the part-time hustlers, okay? <laughs> don't share your dreams, don't share your your you know your side income, your your business ideas with anybody that you work with, okay? So shout out to Riley Chase. Okay, he posted two years ago, I was fired from my job. I'll never forget how I felt, okay? 26 years old, I had just bought my first home, right? First house with my girlfriend, five acres, three cars, a boat, a cat, a dog. Damn, he was doing good. You got five acres, three cars, a boat, a cat, a dog. You're doing it right. <laughs> my side business, were, uh, we're getting some traction. It was a great life. Then my manager threw a grenade in it. <laughs> <laughs> threw a grenade in it, right? So basically, this is he's actually uh going in and, and talking about a, a tweet that he released when he just got fired. Today I was fired from an awesome job working with a very smart and humble person, right? Or humble people. I was a security analyst, work remotely, made $95,000 a year, benefits plus bonuses. It was my dream job. They said Hostified Net and Ghostified Net were a conflict of interest. No problems with me or my work. So basically, what happened with him was he shared in his company, probably to an employee, to a colleague, or to a, uh, you know, the employer. It could be the business owner, could be his project manager, could be his, his manager, his uh, whoever the hell, somebody that was next to him. He was excited and he said, man, you know, I, I started my own business, guys. I'm making $2,000 a month, right? So he says, Hostify at the time was making $2,000 uh, a month of revenue. Only about half was profit, right? He was only making $1,000, but he was probably excited to share like, hey, man, I created something, guys. Be proud of me. Like, be happy for me, right? And he says, it wasn't enough to pay the bills. And I had spent my life saving six months earlier on the house for a down payment. I only had enough savings left to make the mortgage payment for three more months. Okay. So when he got fired, he said, yo, we got to turn up now because I just got fired. I'm only making a thousand dollars. Okay. I guess the natural thing will be to just start applying for jobs right away and pick up some contract work. But I knew Hostify was an Inflate uh, inflection point. If I became distracted with a new job or side work, it will wreck my shot. Okay. Now, mind you, right now they're making a killing. Okay, they're making. He's he's giving his whole story of what happened, right? But this is what they're making now, right? So in 2018, when they gave him the you know the boot, right? Uh, let me make sure get the right numbers. On the right date, okay. This was in 2019, 2019 January. That's when they gave him the boot because he had some side income, right? 2018, which was the year where he started it, it he was making twenty eight thousand dollars. 2019, he went from making twenty eight thousand to one hundred eighty six thousand. That's when they fire him, okay. And then now, 2020, it went from one hundred eighty six to five hundred eighty two thousand dollars a year. OK, so what can we learn from this? Right. Don't share your information with anybody. OK, the hammers need nails. If you show that you are a hammer or you're trying to become a hammer, they're going to hammer your ass down and put you right back into your place and say, hey, buddy, you can't do that. You're supposed to work for us. You're supposed to be under us. You're not supposed to go on your own and create your own income. You're not supposed to go in and create your own opportunities. 
I need you to be a good worker. I need you to be a good nail. That your income only comes from here, so you could always give a hundred percent of your best effort to this company. Okay, this is going to happen to everybody. Doesn't matter what level you're at. If you share your information with others, okay. If you're starting a side income, side business, right, so anything on the side, and you're still working at a company, keep that to yourself. You're doing YouTube. Keep that to yourself, right? You're doing any type of uh, selling digital products. Keep it to yourself. You got an app that you're building. Keep it to yourself. At a job, what I can guarantee you that you're going to find is nothing but snitches. Okay? This isn't nothing new. You could work at Walmart. You could work at a Fortune 500 company. You're only going to find snitches and crabs around you. The guy that you think that he's your best friend, he's not your best friend. He's a colleague. He works with you. And if he could make you look bad to make himself look better so he could continue his journey going up within that company, he will do it. Stop sharing your information to others. Create your businesses. And then when you want to leave, leave peacefully. And they'll be like, but, but Riley or Riley. Or little Billy, little Cindy, you was a great employee. Why are you leaving? Thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. You know, I've had uh, success in, in some new business, uh, business ventures that I had, right? And, you know, I appreciate it for the opportunity that you guys gave me here. And you leave out of there, right? That's it. You keep it moving. They didn't even know you had a business. They didn't even know that you was already blowing up and you had, uh, you know, success somewhere else. You cannot share your information with other people, especially people that are institutionalized to just continue to work for others. If you are a glitch in the Matrix, y'all remember the movie The Matrix, right? I don't know if anybody here remembers the movie The Matrix, okay? In The Matrix, everybody was your op. What does that mean? It's your opposite, your, your opponent, Okay. Everybody is your opponent. When you're in, 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 in the matrix, right, and you show up and you're a glitch, every single person there looks at you weird when you're trying to get out of the matrix. Don't share your information. That's your business. I know sometimes we get excited, right? I get excited when I'm having something that's good happening to me, and I'm like, man, I want to share it to the world. Don't share it to nobody. People will try to bring you down, right? Maybe, you know, for him, maybe he he could have had that same success working there part-time. And then when he was ready and he felt comfortable to leave that job, he would have left it. But because he probably shared it with others, right, and shared his information and, and like, hey, man, we I'm finding some success in this. And, and he's excited to share it with his colleagues and coworkers, et cetera. Right, one of those guys got that shit rumbling inside of him. The hate. Nah, man. You know what Riley's doing? Like, <laughs> you know how that conversation went in that office, right? There was one guy that sat right next to Riley, and and Riley said, "Man, I'm doing really good out here, man. Look, look, I just made a thousand dollars, and it's a bullshit thousand dollars. But to that hater." That, that is, his life is forever going to be working for that company. And he, he has no plans, no ideas, no ambitions, no dreams, right? He's like, look at this dude. He think he better than me. Wait until I tell the boss. <laughs> you know how that conversation went. Uh, how you doing, sir? I, man, you won't believe, you know, Riley's doing so good. He got a side business where, you know, he actually sells. Uh, VPNs and and, and 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 hosting and this this and that, whatever it might be. I don't know his service, right? And and, and the haters like, yeah, he's doing amazing. And you know what the the hammer is gonna say? I'm about to lose one of my nails, right? And this nail right here <laughs> is a bad influence for my other nails, right? I need them to be good nails, cause if if they're not good nails, I'm not a good hammer. Okay, that's how it went down in his head. Okay, so he said, you know what? Uh, call Riley up. 
Let me talk to Riley. Listen, Riley, um, you know, I I, I think this is it's not gonna work out because you know your your business ventures are too similar to our own business. There's no similarities, right? On their business, <laughs> it has nothing to do with what they do, okay? Um, but they, you know, that's their excuse to give him the boot to make sure that he doesn't succeed because now he's using the income that he's getting from there to actually maybe in the future become a bigger company than they are. So it's like they're basically funding him to become a, a competitor. That's how they look at it, right? Not looking at it from the way of like, hey, I started from the bottom too. I created this company, right? There's another guy that works for me that, you know, at some point he, he might want to grow, you know, let's support what he's doing. Now, nah, they don't want to support you, right? They want to bring you down, say, cut him off, get him out of here. We're not going to have competition in our company. We're not going to fund some other guy's dreams when he's supposed to fund my dreams with his work and his time, right? They're going to kick you out, bro. They're going to kick you out of the company and they're going to let you go, okay? But one thing that you're always going to realize, right, is that when you're making side income on part-time, when you get to make that income and you put in that full-time work, that shit explodes, right? He went from doing it part-time, making only $28,000 a year, right? To then, now that he got fired, right? Because of his dreams and because of his side income, which is $28,000. Like, he wasn't hurting nobody, but it was he was a threat, right? He's a, he's a threat. He's a bad influence to other employees, right? That's what it really comes down to, right? It's like, hey, man, you're a bad influence, bro. That's like, you're like a guy smoking crack on the freaking, <laughs> the way how they look at it is like, it's like, this is a guy smoking crack on a freaking, uh, on the conference room. That's how much of a bad influence you are, right? Because then now you're giving the crack pipe to everybody. It's like, hey man, you want to catch your freedom? Hit this pipe, right? <laughs> That's a crazy analogy, right? But, um, <laughs> dude is passing out the freedom crack pipe, you know? <laughs> That's how companies look at it. They're like, man, we can't have him here, bro. He's showing people that if they go in and, and they put their mind into it, they actually don't need to work here, right? So they kicked him out. So in 2019, by him being able to work on this project full time, it exploded and it became $186,000, $80,000 or $90,000 more than what he was making at the company that he was in. That where he was, he felt comfortable. So he made double the income, right? And then from there, the next year, because now everything is compounding, right? This is why I tell you guys, when you start making side income, this thing compounds, right? Little by little. Why, you know, why am I where I'm at right now? Is because it's taking years. Every year it keeps compounding. Whatever income I made compounds with whatever I made the last year and just continues going up. It's a numbers game. It's a times game. You get what I'm saying? So now he's making $582,000 a year. Where's the hater at right now? I would love to get a, you know how they do like, um, I don't know, like when they do, they go back into like a, a history. You ever seen like 2020? When 2020 goes in and talks about a, 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 like a situation of somebody, right? And they do like a, a, a nice presentation on the news. They're like, man. I would love for right now for somebody to do a, a compilation and say, where is the hater now? Like, <laughs> he's still working there. You know what I'm saying? He's still working there. He's still upset. He's probably looking at this tweet like, damn, with his face, his face just crumbling up. Like, I can't believe this guy. I, I thought I had him. I thought I got him out the game. I thought I kicked him out. It's like, little do you know that what you did was you actually pushed them to become even more successful, okay? But again, what can we learn from this? Don't share your knowledge of, uh, of like how much income you're making or, or, or things that you're, you're making on your own, okay? Keep that to yourself, okay? <laughs> Shout out to Dennis Ivy. This is what Dennis Ivy said. People will start counting your money with jealousy. Happened to me, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, definitely, bro. That happens. That happens for real, for real. Don't share your knowledge 
or don't share your your income and, and the things that you're doing 